All right. Hi, I'm Mike Zaida, and today's talk for the Beijing International Film Festival is the importance of the metaverse to the film industry. And my presentation will be on the 25th of April, 2023. What I'm going to do now is share my slides. And I we'll want to share the screen. There are the slides. Okay, it's going to share sounds and optimize video and put it on play. And away we go. So opening slide. This is some of my bio. I'm not going to cover it very much. I'm just going to point out some of the highlights. I've been a consultant to the Ministry of Culture in Shanxi Province, uh, to the Ministry of Culture and the Shanxi Cultural Group in Xi'an. And it's uh, the consulting was for entertainment technology, for AR and VR and theme park projects in and around the historic sites of Shanxi Province, including the Terracotta Warriors Museum, the Apeng Palace, and the Zhou Jing Red Army Base. The uh, project that we did is we wrote concept art and a concept proposal to build a theme park adjacent to the Terracotta Warriors. You can see the theme park cart ride here. Uh, and I'm just going to show you the art and not talk about it in great detail, just to show you that I've I've had experience in and around this historic China. For the Ipeng Palace, uh, we were going to build a recreation of the palace. In fact, most of the palace was never built. We we're going to build it, uh, basically, we called it a crystal palace. So it's going to be made of glass that would be highlighted with fireworks and evening events. At the Red Army Base project, uh, we were looking at building a uh, water park. One of the reasons we're building a water park is, is we attended uh, and visited this uh, place in the heat of summer. We wanted to make it so people could cool down at the base of the, you know, the site of where the Red Army camp was, and do fireworks and light shows in the evening. Another thing I am is I'm the games editor for IEEE Computer Magazine. And some of the articles I've written about in and around the metaverse are let's rename everything the metaverse. Uh, will I see sensor-based games happen before I die? Um, building a human intelligent metaverse. Uh, we, the Metaverse University. So if you are interested in knowing more about me, there's a whole host of IEEE Computer papers you can go to. Startups, I, I'm advisor to 20 plus startups. And what I wanted to do is show one startup. It's called Athanos. And the product of Athanos is modern 3D. And we've invented a way to do virtual reality without a headset using a flat panel OLED screen. And I'm co-inventor on the core three patents for Athanos with Peter Giocaris, who is the first engineer hired by Oculus. So what I'm going to do now is play you. So that's a little background on me. Let's, let's move to the main talk, which is entitled The Importance of the Metaverse to the Film Industry. And this is sort of the outline uh, that I'm going to cover. And we're going to start out by saying, what is the metaverse? And, and the metaverse is a term created by Neil Stephenson in the book Snow Crash. And in fact, uh, the first use of the word uh, uh, metaverse is in his book, and one of the lead characters calls it a stupid name. And she says, and Hero, the lead character goes, you'll but you'll never forget it. And what the metaverse is, it's a virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and other users. And, and an example of a metaverse is Fortnite. 
the popular online video game from Epic Games, offers an immersive digital gaming and social space that is an example of a real-life metaverse-like environment. And Fortnite is built on top of Epic's Unreal Game Engine. And it has beautiful characters and that you can build inside of Fortnite. So the metaverse is also a tool suite, and it's a tool suite sitting on top of a game engine, a tool set that makes it easier to build the networked virtual reality. It comes with 3D world building tools, networking code, AI character support, social media support, friends list, interest management, the whole bit. Basically, what the people have learned is it's hard building virtual reality at the raw game engine level. And so the metaverse is sort of this next layer on top that makes it so that people who work in the film industry, who are artists and designers, can easily put together metaverse implementations and apps for what they're doing in the film industry. For the film industry, the metaverse is this tool suite built on top of this game engine that manages the real-time game engine rendering pipelines from a level that is understandable and usable by filmmakers. And this is, again, on top of the game engine. It doesn't require filmmakers to be programmers. So what can be done at the metaverse level? A pre-visualization of the film world. I think probably many of you in the film industry already know this. You can, you can, com build, can completely construct with your metaverse tool set, plants, buildings, characters, whatever you want. You can, it can be lit as the lighting director and director one ahead of time. And you can have real-time walkthroughs of the virtual world and real-time interaction with the flexible parts of the world, plants and debris. And you can dress your characters as you want them and animate them in real time by cameras aimed at your live actor's face that can then be turned into a virtual character with the same exposition. You can do compositing. The metaverse world can be composited with the live action of real characters filmed against the green screen. And all of this can happen in either real time or near real time. No days of computation. It happens in the time frame of the filmmaker. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Engine has world modeling all the way everywhere. It's got procedural content generation. It has chaos phys physics, meta sounds, fluid simulation, everything that you need to build a realistic uh, virtual world. Um, I've got some samples from the Unreal uh, GDC uh, talk that show you off some of what they do. All right, so last year, we added several new features to the engine to support foliage rendering, and the Fortnite team used those features to ship Battle Royale Chapter 4. At the same time, Jacob over there and the team at Quixel were experimenting with what's possible for photoreal foliage environments, as well as testing out the latest functionality that we've been building for Unreal Engine. So, Jacob's here with us today in the Unreal Editor. Let's explore the environment. And what better way to do that than off-roading? And what better way to off-road than in a Rivian R1T? Now, Rivian uses Unreal to power their instrument cluster, including 3D visualization of their vehicles. So we worked with them to bring the R1T to life in this experience. Let's head on out, Jacob. Sure thing, on my way. All right. So we're building tools for interactive and dynamic worlds. So here we have chaos physics simulating rocks that tumble as we drive over them, leaves bend out of the way, and we also added some real-time fluid simulation. We worked with the team at Rivian to set up Unreal's chaos vehicle model to simulate the suspension of the truck and how the electric motors drive each individual wheel. Chaos also simulates how the tires compress and deform, and MetaSounds enabled the team to precisely resynthesize the sounds of the electric motors and mix them with the ambisonics of the jungle. So Rivian provided us with a highly detailed model. So we're gonna drive under this fallen tree here, and everything that you've seen up to this point was painstakingly hand-built by the environment team at Quixel. Everything since that fallen tree has been built using our brand new experimental suite of procedural content generation tools. Entirely an engine that are flexible, deterministic, and artist-driven. Our guiding principle in building these systems was to empower artists to make tools for artists. So Jacob's gonna go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world. 
And the cool thing is that it communicates. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> And the cool thing is that it communicates with other nearby procedural elements in the scene, like the creek bed. So let's say a designer comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right, and everything updates to accommodate that change. We'll show you some other uh, features that are in the um, Fortnite. I see through your darkness now. I see through your lies. I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. Cut. Good. You like it? <laughs> So I think when you see what the meta human animation function from Unreal is, that's just there for you to use with your mobile device aimed at your face. This is amazing. Here's another example. Project M is one of NCSoft's most ambitious projects to date. What would it mean to you if the world was comprised of informational particles instead of physical particles? Oh, I got a little ahead of myself. I am TJ Kemp from NCSoft. Welcome to Project M. How would the fabric of simulated reality change our perceived world if we could tamper with the arrangement of those particles? This very idea is what sparked Project M. Okay, so that's that's all real time. This is all with built on top of the Unreal Metaverse. So with respect to film production, this is a big change in the world. So Metaverse Futures What's going to happen with the metaverse is, is we're going to keep working on it and we're going to keep changing it and we're going to build it into different ways. We're going to build a human intelligent metaverse that's going to use biosensors, things that do facial expression analysis, hybrid EEG devices that read maybe the frontal lobes of your brain, speech and motion recognition, eye tracking, all to create uh, behavior models that understand humans and behavior models that can be working with AI characters that have both an emotion state, a physical state, and a mental state. And we're going to have these sensed, what I call sensed world architectures happen. And those interactive experiences that you build with computational human perception are going to be R&D projects, they're going to be potential commercial entertainment projects and interactive experiences. So the metaverse is, what you see today is pretty cool. It's very exciting. It's going to get more exciting. And one of the things that we're, I want to point out is that we're going to need to educate people differently. And so this one slide talks about how do you build a metaverse university? University that teaches how to build metaverse applications. And I put together a plan for a metaverse development track, a metaverse design track, a metaverse art and design track, a metaverse sound design track to build metaverse applications. And I, I point that out and say, we're, we've been looking for someone to fund this or a school to host this. And I think this is the future. I think metaverse is not just the Oculus Quest 2 headset. The metaverse is much larger than that and much more important than that, especially for 
film and television production. Anyway, that's the end of my talk. Uh, this is my contact information. We chat, email. There's my website that tells you about my life. And uh, anyway, thank you very much and for your time today. And have a great day.